Thank you for joining us on this Saturday. I'm Liz Collin. Federal authorities now say an explosion at a Bloomington Islamic Center was caused by an improvised explosive device. That blast happened around 5 this morning at the Dar al Farouk Islamic Center. No one was hurt. The FBI and ATF have been on the scene with the Bloomington Police Department all day. We have team coverage of the blast. Our Nina Moyni is live outside the Islamic Center with how faith communities are reacting this evening. But we do want to start with Kate Raditz at the Bloomington Police Department, where Kate Federal investigators just wrapped up a press conference with the latest on where this investigation stands. They did, Liz, and there still seems to be a lot more questions and answers at this point, but we did learn, we knew that the Bloomington Police Department was the first to respond this morning. They said they immediately assessed the area. They were very grateful that there were no injuries, but they felt after a few hours that it was appropriate to turn it over to the FBI. So the FBI said they've been spend, spending the day collecting evidence. Uh, they interviewed witnesses and they determined that it was an improvised explosive device. That was the, the words that they used. They said now the goal will be to look at any videos, to analyze any cell phone data. Uh, but you have to remember this is, this is a federal criminal investigation. So they said there's not simply a lot of information they can release now or while they are going through this investigation, but they said they'll be looking really at two objectives, and that is who is involved and why did this happen. Uh, anyone in the public that may have information about this incident, whether it's you know, they were a, a witness to the event, whether they heard uh, someone, you know, in a, uh, a you know in a bar or a neighbor talking about doing something like this, uh, whatever the case may be, anything that you think may have uh, potential value to the investigation, please call the 1-800 FBI. Yeah, the FBI said they are really stressing that they want anyone with information to come forward again. That number, 1-800-CALL-FBI. Uh, if you know anything, saw anything, you can call that. They also thanked first responders, but we did try to ask questions at the end, but we were not, uh, they did not take any questions. Of course, everyone wondering, is this a hate crime? Well, we know that the ATF, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, is a part of this investigation that is a division of the Department of Justice, uh, so they will also be involved in this as well.